Look what I created here. A prayer tree. Trust and let go. The power of the collective player is wonderful. It activates your energetic networks. It helps you something to do, take a thread and put it on your intention. Attach it to some branch of the tree and trust the precious power of prayer. You heal, you heal all. Beautiful tree. Let's put one. Yeah, I had an idea when I fixed it to this beautiful branch. Let's see if it helps. Many people. Let's say you were now here and you could tie this small cord to the tree. What would it be that you would wish for the world to change? What would it be that you thought, or maybe for yourself or your family to change, that would make life a little bit more beautiful? Let me know down below in the comments what you have thought of and you would have tied that small thing to the tree. Let me know. Let's go to the beach. There's a lot of weed nowadays guys, a lot of weed, can't even swim, I think we need to go to the next country. What a beautiful place to be guys. We just decided with the family that we are going to um, travel back to Europe. It's a difficult decision and uh, that's what I want to make this video about because during the traveling life it's not always easy. We have our ups and downs as a family as well. We are just another family. Only we travel. We, are a we don't own any houses, cars or anything. So uh, we travel light. But still, the emotions and all the stuff else that is happening in a family is always the same, you know? And some things in life you just can't influence. It's difficult to influence. Even if, if your heart and your, your gut feeling is telling you um, that something is good, when you're traveling with a family of five, like we are, it's many other gut feelings, many other feelings of their heart as well. So you always are searching for this midway. At the moment, you know, I'm, I'm looking at a beautiful sea, normally should be a beautiful sea, but at the moment it's like wheat, seaweed. I don't think it's called seaweed here, they have another name, but they have a huge problem in Mexico. Check, check this guys, check how much. This is the sea nowadays. It was beautiful all the three months we were here, but the last two, three weeks, more and more of the seaweed is coming. And now this is a huge problem. Why am I talking about the seaweed? I'm going to tell you now why I'm talking about seaweed. You don't want to go into the water anymore. That's how much seaweed there is. It's like, it's a lot. Look, check. You can't even go into the water. It's like, a lot, look. Full. Completely full. So seaweed, Didi, why you're talking about seaweed? I'm going to tell you why I'm talking about seaweed. I'm going to sit down again on my beautiful chair with my pink, pink drinking glasses. <laughs> this one I borrowed from Jessa. Why do I think that I should talk about seaweed? Mm. Of course, I'm not going to talk about seaweed, guys. I'm going to talk what I was talking about, about family stuff. As a family of five, you travel. And uh, you, again, it's the same as a normal family. You have emotions, you have ups and downs. And some things you just can't influence. Like seaweed. It is there. I don't like it. I hate it. I can't go into the sea. I wish it was gone. But I can't influence it. I don't have influence on this situation. There is no option for me to say, And eh, now seaweed, you are go away. It's just not possible. These are the things in life that happen and that you need to deal with. The same like it happens now 
that my family wants to go to Europe. I don't hate Europe, but I would prefer to travel a little bit more in South America. I would prefer to travel to Costa Rica, Guatemala, because we get invitations from these countries. But like I started the conversation, when you're traveling with a family of five, it's not only my gut feeling, my heart feeling, my passion that is um, important. It's important of all five of us. And the moment your kids grow up, I think we are one of the only families left that are traveling with kids of 15, 13 and, and 10 years old. They get their own gut feeling, they get their own passion, their own feeling from inside and they want to follow that feeling. And I think if you, if you as a family don't agree with finding this balance, there is a lot of problems. So yes, I, of course, I always play this game, oh, let's stay here, you know, and I can be sarcastic and humor and it takes me time to get used that I need to go to Europe uh, for the happiness of my family. Uh, but there will never be a moment I would not do it. I would always do that for my family. But I always try you know, to, to influence them, like, why not to the jungle? It could be cool to stay a month in the jungle, you know, back to basic and just come to ourselves and understand what's happening in the world, blah, blah, blah. But this time I didn't succeed. This time, you know, I need to agree. We need to go to Europe because I want to see my family as well. My sister, my brother, my nephews, my best friends, Ronnie, Rule, all the other people that want to visit me. I want to meet them as well. So it's not that I hate Europe, it's just that I am I feel okay here. I, I created my community again here, my Bitcoin meetups, I'm building a school, we are doing all that stuff, so I feel okay for me to go. But I feel that my family is getting out of balance. I feel my wife is not agreeing with me anymore. Um, she is also like, let's take care now of the kids. I agree with this, we need to take care of the kids. Because of the whole COVID situation, uh, I will call it the flu situation, a lot of families um, we decided to stay home, to not travel anymore. So we are not meeting other families. My kids need social contacts. And at the moment there is no traveling families, so no social contacts. And in these countries, you know, the most of the kids are also at home because their parents tell them it's a flu. Don't go to the touristic areas because there is only tourists that have the flu, you know. So it's a difficult situation and uh, I'm happy we um, decided now. I'm going to book the flights today. Uh, we are going to look for a house or maybe a campsite so they have even more social contacts. But I just wanted to do this talk because I wanted to show you that not everything in a family travel life is happy. And not everything you can organize. Some things just happen in life. And now I'm talking about my family, but it could be of your family as well. Some things won't be happy. Some things will be sad. Some things won't be easy. Some things won't be difficult. But always, if it's difficult or easy, or if it makes you sad or happy, if you see the glass as half full, it makes the situation more easy. So I needed to think a little bit more, I, need to, I needed some time to realize this again, that I will see the glass as half full. I will go to Portugal and do my ultimate best now there to find the land to build Blockchain Valley. I will go to Portugal to connect with all the people I did connect when I was already there. I will go there to make a lot of fun and party time with all my friends and family that I'm going to invite to our house. So it will be an amazing time. I just hope that the kids will feel more happy there as, as well. And then maybe the balance in the family will return. I'm taking you on this trip. You know, we are not going to be that family that is always happy, always lucky, always. No, we have emotions, we have our troubles. That is also what you will see in this real life documentary that they are making about us. It's not always fun, it's not always happy. We are a family, we only travel, that's the only difference. But we have emotions and I have four women that only, not only have emotions, they also have something that it's called hormones. And for women with hormones, you know, it's difficult to find the balance. But I'm succeeding, my wife is succeeding, I think we're doing a good job, and we're enjoying to the fullest the last couple of uh, days in Mexico. I think we will stay another 10 days, fly back then, and then enjoy the beaches of Portugal, Spain, and all that other thing that Europe has to offer us. We also have an invitation from um, Italy to visit a beautiful resort in the mountains, in the uh, Alps. It's a vegetarian hotel in the Alps. Maybe we will go there for a couple of weeks. There are so many options in Europe that um, I will enjoy it to the fullest, of course. But you know, I will never, <laughs> I will never give in too easy. I always uh, try to uh, convince my family to take it a little cheaper way because if I need to fly there and back, that will cost me a little bit more bitcoins. So it will be easier to fly first here in uh, South America and then to Europe. But yeah. Uh, Bitcoin is going up, it's going up to 100 to 200k in the end of this year. 
So I don't think I need to really worry about uh, a few flights. We found flights, I'm going to book the flights later, probably pay them with Bitcoin, but I will make another video about that. For now guys, that was the video for today again. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and this conversation with me without you giving any answer, then give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. See that comment as your answer. Can you understand what I'm saying? Can you relate to what I'm saying? Can you, do you have any questions? Please, found below, down below the video, and I will try to answer as much as possible questions um, to give you, you know, an idea how the real digital nomad life um, works and not the fake digital nomad life that you only see on Instagram where people are always smiley and happy. It is not always like that. We have our things as well. So let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions. Maybe I will do a live met my wife where you can ask the questions as well and then we will answer them for you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you tomorrow again. Bam! Enjoy the seaweed. I'm going to smoke it.